Hey YouTube, this is uh, Coyote Zero, and I uh, wanted to talk to you about something that I saw recently. This is uh, Adobe After Effects uh, CS4, and you can get a 30 day trial of it. And while I was creating videos, like this one's uh, Unchained by Van Halen, You'll see it on my page in a couple of days, but when I went to um, to composition and to render queue, um, I noticed that uh, to render, not this video, but another video I did by Modest Mouse, it was a six minute video and it took something like, uh, it was I think eight hours to render and then the size of it was something crazy like 188 gigabytes. And so I went online to Google and I typed in uh, how to change render settings to make a uh, smaller size and less render time. And there was a bunch of uh, people who tried to give advice, but it wasn't advice that I kind of, I didn't understand it very well. So um, after some uh, tests and, and, and stuff, I figured out how I could do it. I don't know if it will work for everybody, but it worked for me. Now you go into your composition after you've finished. This is a, a full entire video. It's already totally rendered out. Everything's good on it. I don't know. You can't really see it if I scroll all the way out and you can see all the everything's there. So uh, I go into composition. I'm not going to re-render re this. I just re I just rendered it right now and it took I think 40 minutes and it was 52 gigs, uh, megs. I'm sorry, 52 megabytes at uh, 1080p. So, so this is what you do. You go to composition, you go to add to render queue, and this is it here. Wait, hold on, let me delete these two, and then I show you from the beginning. So you close that again because it won't let you render now. Okay, so add to render queue. Now uh, the render queue, you have all these options here. What I would do is I I go into best settings, and here um, you'll notice quality best, resolutions full, 1920 by 1080, that's uh, 1080p. Um, I go here and I click use OpenGL renderer. Now, I don't know if that's what makes it go faster, but I clicked on that and then I hit OK. And then I would come down here to output module and where it says lossless, you'll notice it's a link, so you click on it and it pops up in this open module settings, output module settings, excuse me. So I would come in here and I want audio output obviously since it's Van Halen. I don't know if that makes a difference, but whatever. And then uh, include project link, I'd click that off and include source XMP metadata, I'd click that off. And then format options here and click this and I would click on uh, Microsoft MPEG-4 Video Codec V3 uh, and that okay and then you hit OK and then you hit render and the render time will be at least for this four minute or three and a half minute video the render time on it uh, came out to be about 40 minutes and like I said it was uh, came out clipped out at 52 52 megabytes so that's a lot better than the, what I was getting on the Modest Mouse, which was a six-minute video, eight eight hours to render, and 188 hours, uh, 188 gigabytes of space. So, I hope this helps you out. I think this works for CS4, CS5, and CS6. I don't think CC17 and CC18. I don't think it plays a part in that, but I don't know because I haven't used either of those. So all I've used is this is this is CS4, and again, this is a trial video, so. Um, a trial, not a trial video, but a trial, uh, 30 day, tr uh, 30 day trial of using the uh, CS4, the entire CS4, the master collection. So, hope this helps you out. Y'all have a good day, and hey, you know, a couple more days in the new year. All right, see you soon.